Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, it's me again, and I think I've received, finally, the last of my order. Uh, I've been having kind of a runaround with uh, Amazon and my building access codes and such. It's sounding more and more like i got to set that up every time I place an order. And that, quite frankly, discourages me from ordering too often. Uh, the post office gets through just fine, so I don't know why they don't just send it to the United States Postal Service. They send it through uh, their own delivery people a lot, so I don't know what's going on. I don't know what i got to do to make that situation better. But until it gets better, I may not be ordering all that often. But anyways... A, uh, a view of things to come on this channel. What do we have here? I don't know what's in what box. This one we have. Ah. What? <laughs> Oh, somebody got screwed, and I think it was me. Okay, here's the story. I saw these very interesting chips, habanero chips, to be precise. And uh, it said it was uh, for for six of them. It was like twenty bucks. I'm like, nah, I don't have no twenty bucks to be spending on stuff like that. Quiet out there. But they had two for six ninety five. I said, okay, six ninety five isn't so bad. I'll get two of them. Share them with with someone. Um, you can already tell by the box here that what I'm in, what I'm gonna spring on all of you. I thought we we're talking like a bag of chips, you know? At six ninety five, that's like what seven bucks, three fifty a bag. 350 you should get a pretty hefty bag of like Doritos and stuff. No, no, not here. We got these. Which is about the dollar fifty size. Laying in there they looked even smaller, I have to tell you. I thought they were the snack bags. Read your sizes, man. Really read your sizes. I didn't read how how much came in the bag, but Two ounces, but here they are, called Mama Zuma's Revenge Habanero Chips. Mama Zuma, which sounds like Montezuma, kind of makes me wonder what these are going to do to my insides. Love the artwork. That's a t-shirt waiting to happen. Get too close to Mama Zuma and you will get burned. This woman is determined to scorch everyone in her path. Mama Zuma's weapons are the hottest jalapeno and habanero peppers this side of the Rio Grande. Why is everything this side of the Rio Grande? What's on the other side of the Rio Grande? Since she lost the love of her life in a bizarre and tragic potato peeler accident, Mama Zuma has been hell-bent on burning every mouth she kisses with her special brand of passion. Warning, these chips are made with some of the hottest peppers on the planet. The ingredients, select potatoes, expeller pressed high oleic sunflower oil. Sounds healthy. Dehydrated cane juice, salt, paprika, habanero powder, garlic powder, spices, natural smoke, flavor, and paprika extract. Habanero. Amazuma. And I know the rest of this has to be, well, not chips anyway. I started off my day by bashing my knee into a, into a bed frame. So it would only make sense for me to cut my wrist open, trying to open this thing up. 
anything for your entertainment. Lose a finger, stab myself in the eye. Yes, sir. Uh-oh. I think I'm missing one. That's cool. That means I got another package tomorrow. Tomorrow at 7 a.m. I'll be out on the sidewalk in a folding chair making sure that I get the package. But anyways... First off, we have <clears throat> from Paldo, which seems to be a brand I'm getting very familiar with. Paldo Pan Stir Fried Noodles. Irresistible sweet spicy taste. Thumbnail? Mm hmm. Um, I don't know if the little smiling octopus on there means that it's, that's part of the flavor. I do see octopus tentacles being served on there, which is a serving suggestion, of course. They don't come in the package. Um, really the only English I see, well, there's the ingredients. That's good. Mm, okay. The instructions on, on cooking it are in English, which is a good thing. From Seoul, Korea. Now you guys remember the uh, fire noodle challenge. I'm beginning to think that Korea is known for very spicy noodles. It is called the Korean fire noodle challenge for a reason. It's from Korea. Anyways, I don't know what that is. Bonak. Bonak. Irresistible sweet spicy taste. That sounds interesting, really. Cannot wait to dig into these bad boys. And speaking of uh, the fire noodle challenge, this is from the same company, Sam Yang. But this one is a, uh, a cheese flavored hot noodle. Not sure if it's the same as the other one. I'm looking for that little Scoville unit that they put on here last time. Do they have it here? Mm. Oh, it's all in Korean. I do not see. Hey, look, there's a, there's a phone number. I can call them. I'm sure they'll answer all my questions. <coughs> Excuse me. Four plus one. Do they not have a number that represents five in that country? I don't know. I guess it's like buy four, get one free. I guess it's usually a four pack. Well, lucky me, I got a fifth one. So, we'll be turning into that one day soon. And because there's so many brave souls out there, and I had a couple of requests, and there might even be a revisit from yours truly. Who knows? Yes. Once again, it's on. This one doesn't have the chicken on the on the cover, but I assure you, these are the same ones. The Korean fire noodles. Yeah. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Nothing there. I was looking for those numbers. They had a number of like 4,000 to 10,000. I think those are Scovels, which, in the grand scheme of things, isn't that hot. I mean, what? Carolina Reapers are like in the millions, like three million Scoville units. This is like four to ten thousand, which is kind of on the low end. But they're plenty hot enough for me. If you saw the video, you saw me almost have a heart attack and die from dehydration because I was sweating so much. So, uh, yeah, it did the trick. But uh, who knows? 
this time I may be dragging a couple of helpless souls down into hell with me this time. Stay tuned. You might enjoy this. So yeah, there is one more package coming. I cannot wait to show you guys that one. Because I was saying, oh man, these are the hottest noodles on the planet. The hottest instant noodles you can get. And then a voice like Yoda came out and said, no, there is another. Yeah, hotter ones. I'll be showing you those as soon as I can. And I will start shooting these videos, not sure when, but soon. These have a shelf life of about a year, but I won't wait that long, I promise. So, yeah, we're back in business, doing the noodle scene. Just gotta think of a good name for that series. We'll see. Well, guys, thanks for watching. It's been fun. Um, all frustration aside, it's worth it just to bring quality videos to all three of you who watch my videos. I appreciate it. So until next time, whenever that may be, I'll bid you all a fond adieu and another grateful thank you. And uh, you guys take care. See you soon.